Hey guys! Um, I want to do a tutorial. I'm going to try to do a tutorial on the whistle register, which um, many of you have been asking me how do I do it, and um, I have been thinking about all week of you know how to explain it, how to help you know people develop the you know without any straining of the vocals or anything like that, and um. <clears throat> I have been thinking of methods of how to explain it because um, so far I have you know been on YouTube you know a couple of times and I've been trying to see a decent video that would you know teach others how to like master it and I haven't really seen anything that you know could be pretty much helpful. So um, I'm going to try to to be as helpful as I can. Okay, on how I do my whistle register, sorry, and um, here we go. <laughs> Number one, use a bathroom. If you're going to practice singing, use a bathroom because you have great, 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 great reverb in here and you will not mess up your voice like this. I give my heart you see the reverb? I'm not forcing it. Now, if I were to be out of this bathroom, I would be really straining my voice, thus forcing it, thus ruining it. Number two, use a piano to guide you. strain your voice or ruin it or actually lose it. Another thing that might be helpful is having a pet bird. You have to kind of use it to communicate with them. Well guys, that's it. Um, I hope this video helped you in one way or the other. Um, like I said, it's very difficult to explain how to do a sound like that, you know, how to sound like a dolphin or how to sound like a bird. And, and other tips that I could give you is avoid drinking any orange juice or any acid before you sing and you try to attempt the high notes. And um, they say to avoid um, cold water, but I've never had any problems with that. I've, I've always actually drink cold water before singing, so... I don't know what I don't know if that's a myth or not, you know. Um, try whatever works for you, you know. You know, learn learn your vocals, learn learn your body, learn you know to listen to it. Um, try to focus, you know, when you when you do the whistle. Try to focus. Where is it coming from? You know, where what you know because it has like a little pipe that you have here. Try to find out where is it. Where is the sound coming from? Like for example. Um, coming from here. Now it's coming from here. So um, once you figure it out where is it coming from, you know, over time you're gonna get to learn your, you know, get to know your body and it's gonna be so, so easy to do it. Like it's, you, you just think about it and, and it comes out like nothing. So learn your body, learn to listen to it, learn, you know, where is it coming from so you could locate it and do it. Um, and I think that's one of the most important things on doing the whistle register. Besides going through the scale, you know, all the way and coming back and learning your limits, but also listening to your body and listening to what could it take and is it gonna ruin it if I go a little higher? If it's not, you know, it's always a risk in life you have to take. So um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped in some way or another. Sorry if it didn't. Um, remember, don't strain your voice. Um, don't overdo things. So, kisses. <laughs>